Let us begin our debate now. Joining us is Vox National Bureau member Ivan Espinosa de los Monteras, Luis Arroyo, who was an advisor to former Socialist Prime Minister Jose Zapatero, and Carlos Conde Solares, a senior lecturer in Hispanic Studies at Northumbria University. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Luis, for those who say this is going to be the most contentious election in four decades in Spain, are they accurate? I wouldn't say that is the, the, the most contentious. I would say that is the most uncertain. Mm -hmm. uh, surveys are saying that there's no majority either in the right side of the political spectrum or the uh, left side. And uh, so we, we, will, we will not know the results until Sunday, probably very late at night in the Sunday. Okay, so Ivan, from the outside looking in, some are saying, well, this election is so crazy that you have the far right to admire Franco who want to come to power or at least make a dent in the politics. Is that an accurate description of your party? Oh, not of my party. I thought you were talking about some, some other party. No, no, Vox is a very reasonable, uh, moderate, catch-all party. And um, I think Luis is right in saying this is going to be a very open and a predictable election. There is, for the first time ever, there's going to be five uh, fairly large national parties in contention. I do believe that the uh, Everything that's to the right of the left is going to be uh, adding more votes, adding more seats in Parliament. But it is open for discussion. It's not clear. And we will see mm -hmm. on Sunday night, as we was correctly pointing out, quite late at night. I am extremely hopeful um, about our chances, about Vox's chances in these elections. And I think we're going to be uh, the big story for the night. Okay, so Carlos, a party like Vox got 12 parliamentary seats in Andalusia. Do you think that they can actually scale that up nationally because of the sentiment of voters at this moment in time? Uh, I think that they are going to do um, better than they did in Andalusia. And indeed, I think that they are going to do much better than current opinion polls uh, seem to be suggesting. When you look at the fine detail of all polls, perhaps the most um, remarkable part of those is the very large percentage of undecided voters. Uh, I do believe that within that, uh, well, it varies between 25%, 40% of undecided voters. I do believe that there is a large proportion of potential box voters in that um, mm -hmm. in that bag of voters. So I, I do think that they are going to do uh, really well. Uh, whether or not uh, that impact is going to be enough to create a um, center-right majority, I'm not sure. And I don't think anyone can be sure, but I do believe that the impact uh, that Vox are going to have in this election is going to uh, perhaps uh, send shock waves around uh, Europe and beyond after Sunday. Yeah. Right. The polls are saying that 40% of voters are still undecided. Luis, why do people want to turn to parties like Vox? First, I would like to say that, that in, in any case, and the box case is a success case, there's no doubt. It doesn't matter if they get 20, 40, or even 60 seats. Uh, they are new in the parliament, they will be new in the parliament. There's no doubt that they will come to the parliament. Uh, it's the first time that we have a, a far-right party in our parliament, and in, and in any case, they will have that success. It's uh, Obviously, Ivan doesn't want to call himself uh, far-right. No one wants to call himself uh, or herself far-right. But all the headlines in the world will say on Monday that the far-right arrived to the uh, Spanish parliament for the first time in our history. Why do people want to vote, to vote Vox? Well, they are probably... Um, angry about the recession that the the extreme recession that we have economic recession they are uh, very angry also because of the situation of catalonia the independentist uh, uh, challenge in catalonia and they felt that the political the uh, the popular party the right uh, didn't do it well and, and and they want they want a strong government that uh, that has uh, supposedly uh, the answers to those uh, challenges, economic and uh, territorial. I think those are the basic axes uh, for the, uh, uh, the box voter. Okay, so Ivan, you would agree that was a fair analysis from Luis, but you're still far right, aren't you? You have kindred spirits across the continent who would consider themselves far right, who would be supporting you. Look, we're the right because we're not the wrong. The wrong in Spain has been the left. The wrong in Spain has been separatism in Catalonia. The wrong in Spain has been progressives who have made 
have done a lot of damage to our country. And I think there's people from all walks of life that are going to be voting for us for very different reasons. I think Luis is correct in pointing out that the uh, separatist challenge in some parts of Catalonia has been mishandled by uh, the traditional parties, both uh, socialists and so-called conservatives. And I think that's one of the main drivers in this, in this election uh, that is helping us. And the other is because, you know, we do defend the unity of Spain and we do defend freedom. And now freedom is also being challenged by the so-called socialists and the so-called conservatives. And so I think the platform that we're running on, and again, mm -hmm. it's the unity of a nation that's been together for 500 years, probably Europe's oldest nation. That's one. And then the other, the defense of freedom, uh, both personal freedom, certain collective freedoms. I think those are two uh, classical platforms that run across uh, different party lines. I don't think you will be able to say, if you come to one of our rallies, you will see very different people, people from okay. different walks of life. We have people from, from very different social and economic backgrounds. And I think what you will see is that uh, for the first time in maybe 35 or 40 years, there's a lot of people who are coming to vote with a smile. There's a lot of people who are uh, deeply uh, with a strong, strong sense of pride okay. uh, of defending their national unity, of defending their freedoms, and I think that's going to be driving a, uh, an enormous amount of votes for, for Vox this coming Sunday. So, so Carlos, those people that Ivan calls the so-called the so-called socialists and the so-called so conservatives, center-left, center-right, for 40 years they've been running the show. What is going on? What allowed us to get to this point where we find the, the middle being hollowed out and people turning either to people like Podemos or to, to Vox? Well, first of all, I don't think that the middle is being uh, hollowed out. If we look at the uh, if we look at the numbers and if we look at the polls in Spain, uh, Spain, I would say, is perhaps less polarized than, um, than other European nations, where we have, for instance, in France, uh, the Front National uh, already being perhaps the second biggest party, if not the biggest party in uh, France, where uh, if we look at nations like Italy, where you have the Lega Nord, and where you have the Cinque Stelle uh, already dominating uh, the Italian government. I don't think Spain is more polarized than other countries. On the contrary, I think that it is perhaps less polarized. Uh, what I would say is that the, um, the far-right labels that are being given to Vox in order to put them in the box of other new parties in Europe is not particularly helpful in my view, because this is a phenomenon that is specifically Spanish. And um, what really defines Vox is the Catalan crisis of 2017. Um, right. Quite often, these new parties are explained away because of the atomization of, um, of uh, politics after the systemic crisis of 2008 and all the rest. But I think that that gap was already plugged by the austerity party, the far left uh, Podemos. Mm -hmm. um, Vox have been in existence since 2013, but they, haven't, they have only caught flight really uh, last year, in 2018, after uh, the Catalan crisis. So I think that it is a very specific right. Spanish phenomenon and one that is very difficult to compare okay. with others. So, so Luis, if, Luis, if we can say that Rajoy messed up his response to the Catalan crisis, they had the vote, Rajoy responded, there were people on all sides who weren't happy with the way he responded for multiple reasons, there's a new government. But the socialists came in less than a year ago. Why have they not been able to be the anti-Rahoy? Why are they seemingly going to lose power when it comes to this? Oh, no, no. First, the, the socialists are going to be the most voted. Uh, uh, according to, to surveys, they, they will be the most voted. They, the Socialist Party is going to be, again, is going to be the winner. Of but well election, short of first, a majority. Well short of uh, a majority. Well, we will see. We will see. Uh, we will see. There's a, they, obviously they, they will not have a, 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 a sufficient majority to, to be able to govern by themselves, but no one will be able to do it. Uh, but let me tell you a couple of things. First, it's not only a Catalonian thing. Vox is against uh, the laws of the women. It's against immigration. It's and basically anti-European. Anti it's, it's clearly... It's not because I, because I say it, it's because everybody knows that, that Vox is a far-right party. It doesn't matter if you like the label or not, it's the label that everybody is giving to the party. Uh, second thing, it's not true that, that, that they have people coming from everywhere in the spectrum. No, most of the people that come to, to, to vote to Vox come from the very, uh, the, the very right of the popular party. That's what the surveys say. It's not that I say it, it's what the surveys with the data say. Um, uh, so it's not only a matter of Catalonia. Catalonia is a big issue here, of course, but there are other issues in which Vox and, and obviously the rest of the parties are aligning themselves. And 
all the positions that Vox adopts coincide with the far right in Europe. There's no doubt. There's no way <laughs> to ignore that. Uh -huh. So it's not only a matter of Catalonia. It's also a matter of their position, of their political and ideological positions. Ivan? You see, Imran, the problem with surrounding yourself with people who think like you, talk like you, look like you, live in neighborhoods like you, and that's a problem that Luis has, is that you believe that everybody, that's the word he uses, everybody knows this, everybody says that, everybody's writing. So, well, if you're surrounded by people who are exactly like you, then you're prone to believe it's, it's that what everybody it's, thinks it's like you. Unfortunately said. for him, I mean, Ivan, that's not the case. What so if you look across Spain, you will see that this is exactly the opposite of what's happening. We're seeing people from all walks of life. We're seeing very modest people. We're seeing people who've been left that, behind Ivan, that's simply by the so-called progressives. What we've seen Ivan, Ivan, is that the I socialists have been much, governing but for the elites. Not true. They, have, they have this this policy of governing for very specific elites, for very specific, heavily subsidized with taxpayers' money elites that protect and defend certain elites within the society. Ivan, and that's what happens you're, you're, when you I mean, lose your party, uh, when you your, lose your touch party with your is base. the party of that's the That's exactly elite. what's happening. What you Luis can, is you saying can repeat it, is exactly, you can repeat it he's the, as he's you the want. definition, I he is the epitome much, of what's going that, on wrong in Spain. Not true. It's all the journalists in Spain and all the progressive analysts are in fact saying what Luis is saying. If that were true, if what Luis is saying was true, then yes, we would be getting two to three percent of the vote on Sunday. However, if we're getting a double digit, no, you're number, getting no, you're getting much, half, we'll of the, Sunday night, half of the half of your vote. That's votes. probably true. It's probably true that what we're saying is uh, applicable to people from all walks of life and not those extreme right, which uh, Luis is appealing to. I think Carlos has has hit the nail on the head. This is a very specific situation, which we have in Spain. What's going on it's, here is not comparable Ivan, to other European simply, countries or other countries around the world. And unfortunately, sorry. even though yeah, Luis no. likes to dumb it down and simplify it for people, because he believe people can make up their own opinions, unfortunately, things are not the way Luis is, is pinning them. Luis, it's just unfortunate for him that it's not Well, the okay, just, just, no, it's just, just to make it clear, it's just a matter of seeing the numbers. Ivan knows the numbers better than me, probably better than me. And it's a matter of just checking what your positions are in every single issue. It's as simple as that. It's, again, it's not... The, yes, but you when can, you check them, check them with reality. You Don't want. check them you can with your deny friends who you who are. You can deny who you are. Ivan, Ivan, Ivan let me, no, no, excuse me. Excuse me, let me, let, let me end. No, no, let, let me end. Just a second. I'm going to be very brief. Uh, I will try to be brief. Uh, it's just a matter of seeing the numbers. Who do you receive the votes from? which is basically 90% from the PP, obviously, obviously. And second thing, huh. checking all Please, your positions, you know all of them, Look. if you list all of them. And it's okay, as simple as that. So you, I'm, I understand okay. that you don't like to be called the far right, but you guys are the far right. No, and we it, don't and it, care I mean, about labels. But Luis, you are, you're a serious analyst, it's and you, fault. you know the numbers as well. If you look at what happened, finish off, finish off. You are a politician. Okay. If you I look at what happened in Andalusia, you are a politician, and you can deny you can deny the labels precisely. that we could, that That's we put. But well, but so far I'm a professional. I'm not even political a, I'm not scientist. Even a... and analyst okay. need labels, and your label is far right. Okay. Okay. That's the label okay. you have. Okay. And that's okay. the label Ivan, you will okay. receive okay. Okay. Because, because you're an analyst, Ivan, Ivan briefly. Ivan, let's look at. Sorry. Yeah. You know, let's not talk about the future. Let's look at what happened in Andalusia. In Andalusia, forty percent of the vote that Vox got did not come from either Populares or, or Ciudadanos. So 15 came from former voters of socialists and Podemos. 15% came from people who were not voting, people 15%. who stayed at home last time. 15? And 10% came 15%. from people who were what, young, what so young that it was the first time they were voting. So, okay, so okay. 15, what about the 15 from the left, 15 right. from okay. their own, and 10% new voters. 15. That's gentlemen, 40%. 15. And the other 15. 60% 15. come from different parties. Can Less I grab hold of this for 10. a second and, and go to Carlos? Because I'm okay. going to ask All right. Carlos. No, no, I agree. I agree. 15%. Okay. 15%. Okay, what you're in agreement the over the 15. Okay. Carlos, let's grab hold of that for a second. 15, 15, and 10. It's a total of 40. Let's unpack it for a second, Carlos. Carlos, what is this exchange that we've heard for the past few minutes tell us about the issues as we look at that upcoming election? Well, uh, first of all, I mean, uh, this is perhaps just uh, anecdotal evidence, but I come from, uh, from a predominantly uh, working class uh, neighborhood uh, and city where uh, most of the people traditionally have voted for the left. And my impression is that a lot of those people this time are going to vote for Vox. They are not former uh, Partido Popular voters at all. 
they are not uh, former Ciudadanos voters at all. Uh, this phenomenon is much more uh, transversal, I believe, than, um, than uh, Mr. Arroyo is saying. And uh, it responds to, um, as we mentioned earlier, what is taking place. I mean, this is a movement that doesn't quite appeal to the disenfranchised in the way that uh, Trump or the Leave campaign in the UK appealed. But it appeals perhaps to people who are territorially disenfranchised. And I'm talking about the autonomous communities and the provinces and the places that nobody's talking about. OK, listen, we'd love to have you all back on the show, especially after the vote. It's difficult to figure out what's going to happen because, as was mentioned, almost half of voters polled are undecided. Those who were polled suggest that the socialists will probably win, but short of a majority, which means coalitions, which means it could get messy and interesting. Look for, looking forward to talking to all of you after the elections. Thanks for joining us on The Newsmakers.